responsibilities you accept today defines the future you are creating tomorrow. That is why when a child is misbehaving, we get angry as parents because his irresponsibility today is creating a very bad future tomorrow. So that is how we parents are hard on children. Now, when the parent himself or herself is <laughs> not accepting responsibility, he is also creating a bad future for himself and also for his children. That is how children grow in a very hard life. Because parents have not accepted. For you to pay your child's school fees, you are buying funeral clothes. Are you not a witch? Are you not a witch? Funeral clothes. My mother one time was crossing that flower border to Jotogo. And one, you know, border, those border boys, the thief, was falling to deep hand into the bag and take money. So when they got there to the police, they told the police, the policeman was, was telling him that that thief is by you, he's putting in your bag. And then she spoke for him back to the policeman that no, there's, there's nothing in the bag. <laughs> if she put it there's nothing in the bag. <laughs> so as she was speaking French to the man, then the uh, flower boy, the border boy got angry and was insulting. Eh? Insulting, insulting. And the mother, the mother now spoke and went back to him and said, When is that when my mother was sending me to school, didn't your mother use the school to go and buy from that cloth? He was not speaking French. You're speaking French. You're speaking French. When they were sending me to school, yo, they took me to buy from that cloth. That is an act of irresponsibility. The response, if you accept the responsibilities of prayers today and studying the word of God today, you are creating a future tomorrow. If you accept, you don't need to, to, to kill yourself. Just accept the responsibilities. You don't need to kill yourself to have money at the end of the month. Just accept the responsibility of work. Say work. Work. Wake up in the morning and go and work. Return. Go and work. At the end of the month, though, that employer will pay you. It doesn't require prayer. But many people are Pray all manner of uncalled for prayers because they will not have responsibilities. Faith is not about speaking, I believe, I will receive, I will receive. Many people have said that and they have received nothing because they are only talking, they are not asking responsibilities. I will be rich, I am rich, I am bad, I am well, I am boy, and they are still poor. You know why? They are only talking riches, they are not doing what it takes to prosper in the kingdom. In the kingdom, the covenant platform for prosperity is given with tithing and offerings at the base of it. Foundation, level one. Level one is what? Tithing and offerings. If you are not doing it, hey, 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 me, I will not pay my tithe. Don't worry. The few, you are only creating the future. When we get it, we all see the one you are creating and the one I'm also creating. In this kingdom, we live by laws. Accepting the responsibility to live by those laws is what makes us create a very great future. That is faith. So I can come and tell every devil my future is great and secure. You know why? I have done some things at the background. I have accepted certain responsibility that commits God. No devil can kill me. Oh. No, no, no. You don't know why your family called them. They can't kill me. Oh. You know why? I am accepting certain definite responsibilities that commit God to my long life. These don't happen in the kingdom haphazardly. Now, okay, maybe it's by chance. It's not by chance. No, we live in a kingdom of definitely, a kingdom of, of definite input and output. One great man said, it's only failures that believe in chance. Wise and successful men believe in cause and effect. You want a great future in this kingdom. One of the keys you need is faith. And faith is not about talking. No. Faith is not about having a bold face. That is not faith. Faith is simply about what? Accepting the responsibilities that govern outcomes. If I want to be a good man of God eh, at my job, then I must accept the responsibility of studying my Bible, of prayers and fastings. 
Those are just the foundational. With other ones, that is what will make me a good pastor. But if I refuse and I go about, hi, Kaba, Shaka, I'm a good pastor. I'm a good pastor. And then you come to my house every morning. I have a very big bowl of bamboo in my front, like a mountain. So you eat a mountain of rice, a mountain of food in the morning. I posted some, you know, just yesterday that man of God. <laughs> If you are always drinking tea in the morning, you will soon shed tears. <laughs> Man of God, if you are always drinking tea in the morning, if you are always break, eating breakfast every day, you will soon break down fast. Man of God. So I can't be eating breakfast like a pregnant woman. <laughs> no. No, because that is one of the responsibilities of my job. You cannot drink and be driving. No, because you may end up killing yourself. That is one of the responsibilities of that, that governs driving. We live in a kingdom of laws. Faith means I have done my part, so I know God is faithful. That's faith, sir. I have done my part so I know God cannot fail. So you can promise every demon I know I am on top of issues. I know. I know. That's faith. So if you have not done your part, don't go me talking because you will introduce yourself to many, many problems. If you have not done your part, don't go about shouting it down. You are not living by faith. Faith means I have done my part so I know God is faithful. God is faithful. One day I told one man, I said, I know something. He was talking, yeah, yeah, I said, I know something. The only responsibility God laid upon a man and a wife eh, to have children is called sex. It's called what? Okay. That's the only response. Eh, go and see one doctor. God didn't tell us. Okay. One herbalist. God didn't tell us. He said, ah. Sir, this is your faith. I don't understand. No. <laughs> and I said, no, the only responsibility God laid upon a man and a, ho- and a wife for procreation is that thing. So but as long as I give myself to that thing d- d- judiciously, I can guarantee every devil that this, you know, it's a done deal. So God, go and rest yourself. That's God's faith. That's God's faith. That's God's faith. So stop confessing what you have not yet practiced. Stop confessing it. Don't confess that you will pass your exam if you're not reading your books. Faith for a student means I know I will come at first class because I sit with my books. So I know God is faithful. That's faith for a student. I sit with my books. I judiciously invest my. I'm talking about time. Let's rest to our feet. I'm close. I'm close. <laughs>